Comment vas-tu? Je m'appelle Semi and welcome to my class. Oh, I almost did it. And today we are in chapter 5 of the Blossoms of the Savannah. Like normally, we are going to, an to analyze the themes on the stylistic devices. So pay attention. Well, chapter 5 is after the homecoming ceremony. And that night, the two girls had a feeling of panic, anger, helplessness, and hopelessness. Both of them had sleepless nights, each girl thinking about a different subject. And Taya was thinking about her newly met jo boyfriend, that is, Joseph Parmoat. And she was angry at everyone in Asila, especially Uncle Simiren, who she blamed for ruining her relationship with Joseph Parmoat. She considered the culture that forbid, them, forbid her from being with Joseph Parmoat as outdated. And that is because they belong to the same clan and sub and the same sub sub clan, they are not supposed to have a heterosexual relationship. And Rezen, on the other hand, was thinking about tradition. Specifically, she was thinking about female genital mutilation, which was becoming a real threat because all the Musana had said they should undergo the right and they should not listen to people like Minik and Ngutai who were campaigning against uh, the female genital mutilation. And Rezian also remember the time that Enga Pratani had visited their home and how she showed, she showed them the tools of trade and she also demonstrated how they work. And in the morning when Mama Milanoi and Ole Kailo woke up, Ole Kailo reminds Mama Milanoi about the culture that they had been ushered to. And Ole Kailo asks Mama Milanoi to start counseling the girls to make them understand their roles as potential wives of the men of Nasila. And later on, the family visited their, their new shop in Nasila and they, they were so happy to see that the shop was full of customers. And when they returned home, they were visited by Joseph Parmuat and later on they were visited by a strange visitor who we know in chapter 6. Move on to the themes and we are starting with the theme of tradition. It's on page 60 and page 63. And on page 63, tradition is presented in form of marriage and female genital mutilation. And for a girl to be married, she must have undergone female genital mutilation or circumcision. And we are clearly told there is no a girl who can get married before undergoing the cut. A girl who gets pregnant before marriage, she was referred to as interpai. And that girl was often circumcised at the time of giving birth. And she, as a punishment, she was married to an old or the oldest man in the village. And on page 60, Mama Milanai was aware that he was breaking the Nasila tradition by keeping grown up girls as Intoye and Mingalala. And we are clearly told culture had expected Mama Milanoi to prepare the girls mentally and physically to face the, the challenge of responsible motherhood and womanhood. Theme number two place of a woman in the society. And number one, women are, in Nasila society, women are viewed as responsible wives of the men of Nasila. For instance, um, Ole Kailo tells Mama Milanwe to start counseling the girls to make them aware of their roles as potential wives of the men of Nasila. Number two, women in Nasila have no say. They are expected to be submissive to their husband and never question their husband even if they feel that their husband is doing wrong. For example, Mama Milanoi and Ole Kailo and when Mama Milanoi, when Ole Kailo asked Mama Milanoi to start counseling the girls to prepare them for circumcision, Mama Milanoi knew that was not right for the girl. But she could not say anything because the man had or the man is always the one who has the final decision. Betrayal, the same page 62. And the people of Nasila feel betrayed by Minik and Ngutui, who was fighting against their tradition. And we know that the people of Nasila valued their tradition such as female genital mutilation. And Minik was fighting against uh, GM and early marriages. For that reason, the people of Nasila feel betrayed by Minik. Theme of conflicts, conflict on page 
62 and conflict is disagreement between two or more people and here we have disagreement and uh, conflict between those who support FGM and Minik and Nguitoi. For instance, the people of Nasila supported FGM and Minik and Nguitoi was against FGM. So they had that clash and that is why Minik was referred to as a worse and a devil incarnate in Nasila. Education and on page 662 we learned that Minik and Nguitoi was educated she studied in Makerere University and that is where her name originates. She's been referred to as a Makerere and a Makerere means the one who studied from Makerere. And she had a degree in veterinary science and that's why she was working as a manager at Government Ships Ranch. The last theme is the theme of work on page 62 and Minik Nengote was working at a government ship ranch and she was working as a manager and in the same ranch she had other hundreds of employees. So in the statistic devices in chapter 5 and we're going to start with simile and simile is that indirect comparison and here Resian is likened to a lizard and we are told Resian lazes like a lizard or an overhead lizard in the hot afternoon sun. Flashback um, page 57 and Resian remembered the time that the Engamuratani had visit, uh, visited their home and how she showed them the tools of trade and demonstrated to them how they work. Vivid description on page 57 and in this page the Gamratani is described uh, she is described as thin, mm, her age about 60 years, her height is average and her eyes were inquisitive, clear and bright. Dialogue is the last stylistic devices and is that conversation between two or more people. On page 59 to 60, we have the dialogue between Ole Kailo and Mom Lanoi, and they were talking about the culture that they had been ushered to, such that Mom Lanoi was supposed to prepare the girls for female genital mutilation. Okay, okay, friends, and that is the end of our lesson today. We have learned about the themes and the stylistic devices in chapter 5 of the Blossoms of the Savannah. If you have any questions, shoot me. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.